Hello, hello, hello. Dude, it's rat an hour. It's the first time I've ever said it in chat, I think. Because I always feel like it's self-advertising. Even though it's my own stream channel in Russian fishing, I still feel guilty about it. We did it. We set, by we I mean lack uh, Jenkins. Oh. We got rat on the global leaderboard. Dude, Jenkins, genuinely, dude, I bet you just, like, the RF4 devs are probably going to send you a secret gift. Like, thank you. You just wasted so much of people's money on rats. <laughs> I mean, it's $50 to travel to Tunguska and $100 a rat, and they wear out in, like, a fucking day of fishing. Exactly. And you know how many other people are going to do the same shit because of that one record? We need to set more of them. Have you like got a preferred... The sun's up, so now I'm going to catch a small coho, right? Have you got like a preferred speed and stop yet? You want to learn how to catch fish? Throw a rat. Yeah, small coho as soon as the sun comes up. They're back. Of two reels, yeah. I'm doing a three and three. And similar speed. I've I've played with the speed a bit. Uh I had been doing a three and three with like a thirty. And it was doing okay, but I feel like slowed it down helped a little. I think it really just is finding where the fish are and that the rat fucking floats in, in front of them. Yeah, I caught that big pink salmon all the way out on the tip of the island. But then I couldn't get any more. I think I got two. One giant one. Have you had any hit you the minute it hits the water? I used to try like a three second pause when it first hit the water like I do with spoons and stuff. Because it's like they always hit it when it's not moving. But it never works. So I just start retrieving instantly now. Five hundred gram coho, yeah. I was so I was gonna stream something else tonight, uh, but then I started fishing, and then I was either going to I've been sitting here. I should have streamed like two hours ago, but I have this thing where I don't really want to stream this game a ton, but I want to play it, and then I just uh, play it and don't stream. And I should just turn the fucking stream on. I'm sorry. I'm self-conscious, conscious, not conscience. Rat catches bigger pink salmon. Just saying. No, oh, that guy doesn't watch the stream, I don't think. Sweetie, hi. I wonder what that coho is worth, Jenkins. It's got to be a bit.
Oh no, first cast without a fish in a while. I tried Big Rat a bunch and it just doesn't catch fish. Nice, Jenkins. An actual one that showed up in chat. Alright, every time I miss, I try Big Rat. And usually catch nothing. I think I've caught one two kilogram chum salmon with the big rat so far and nothing else. Were you using the same exact rat as me too? Did you just literally go by all the, you did the same thing I did? Cause I was started catching on this rat I just had, then went and bought like six rats came back through all of them they all sucked and <laughs> used the one i had the squirrel does okay too actually the medium sized squirrel yeah i think the rat does better too the squirrel actually did better for me on the other side of the river and it was just catching a fuck ton of chum every cast You're catching those here too? The rainbows and Lenox here? Or did you move back down? Weird. I must just suck. You've got some special rat rhythm. Oh yeah, get those weeklies. Get the rat on the board, baby. Jenkins has already outratted me. I'm so upset. It was my idea. He didn't even believe me when I told him about the rat. That's a lot of failed casts for me. Upsetting. Rat. It's a silly, very expensive lure that has not done well in the game very often. And by chance, I threw it yesterday kind of as a joke and it started working. And now I'm trying to put it on a bunch of the leaderboards to get other people to waste money on rats. Because it's funny. And it's working. It's actually doing good. <laughs> Vape have nicotine? Nah, rhino cum. Makes me more of a man. Oh look, no skill thing for the 71 months. 69 plus 2. Nice. Not really, because math. Huh. I think Jenkins lies to me.
Just got a ton of free advice there, Jenkins. You didn't ask for it. It was pretty tight. Dude, don't run to town. Fuck that. Keep fishing. I'm just a, more upset with why I don't catch these fish you told me about. I wonder if you're throwing a tiny bit further than me, too. It does seem like when they hit, it's right away over there, or it's chums. Turn around. Actually little science here, little science experiment. I believe, I don't know that I'd even notice it, but I believe in a thing called love. I believe the Tagara throws further. Can't tell, might have thrown shorter. Dude, Jenkins. <laughs> Rat, you didn't believe me. Look at us now. Look at us now. I did 400 without the trophy. Oh, on a Vanga. You might be throwing it way further than me. You're fishing with a fucking Vanga out here? Are you even doing downsized leaders or no? McQueen, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate that. Yeah, you are. Evening. Oh, your other is a repairing. That's fair. I, I remember messing around and seeing that different reels did cast slightly further based on, I don't know if it's spool size or something. I don't remember which one was which, though. Which way it went. What were you playing, Queeb? I'm just here being an old man. And it's because I can't fish in real life. I do this every winter. When I can't fish in real life, I get addicted to the fishing video game. I can't help it. Grindstone. Oh. It's the best fishing sim on the market by far. The name, obviously, I understand the question, but what the hell? Is that a trophy? That's not a trophy, no. What the hell am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Because you're slamming them with my technique that I told you. Oh. I haven't gotten a single trout. Look at him. He's just a fish slaying machine. But yeah, no, I just like fish in real life, and like I said, weather is unfortunately not good for it this year.
We've taken over the rainbow board, the U.S. rainbow board. That's it. Trendsetters. That's all I wanted to do was set a dumb trend that will cost everyone money. Look what I get. 400 gram idiots. Okay, this is absurd, dude. You just made so much money in the last... This better not be a chum salmon. You might... Literally, Jenkins is on... He just trophied Coho Brop. Oh, he just, we just trophied Coho with it. I did it last night as a joke, and then it was working decently well. And I was like, especially because it's catching species that I've been tough to get at lately. Mine's just a garbage chum. <sighs> Jenkins, guide me. Take my rat by the hand. Uh, but yeah, just trophied coho, uh, five kilo rainbow. He just did a two kilo sockeye. I did a two and a half kilo pink. I mean, it's been good. There's my rainbow. Oh, is it premium bias? Shit. Pay to win easy. Well, I can't use my Christmas premium then. I'm just catching dinks. All right. Time to... Activate. Which mouse? The medium black rat. And I have, we between Jenkins and I, I think we have them all, so... And you might you might buy two because I've about worn one out already. They last like twenty fish. Another tiny rainbow or a tiny sharp sound. Tiny rainbow. We'll take that. Are you aiming at big bush? You're not even. You're probably not even being that precise. You're just willy nilly throwing it out there. Yours seems to be wearing down a lot faster than mine. Oh. That's it. You're here. That <laughs> literally different. And you're throwing at that bush? There's three. There's, I'm going to assume the furthest right bush. Oh, no. Kind of where the tree is pointed. Oh, the big bush. Don't look. You got another good one.
Because he's catching bigger fish. This He just started catching bigger fish, okay? You do have a one kilo smaller leader than me. Might be the difference maker. He's using an 18, which I didn't know anyone even made 18s. I'm using a 19.1. I caught two nearly trophy dollies last night, too. I did downsize my hooks. I don't know if Jenkins did. Zeller at this thing for 57 months. Thomas. Thomas, we're making we're putting lat on, rat on all the leaderboards. I wish you were here. Just want you to know that. Yeah, I think I'm running one out as well. One out or one. I was running the standard size hook, but I kept having fish short strike and not get hooked. You know where they are on for just a split second, not even long enough to get a chat message. Because this thing catches fucking si gray Siberians, Siberian graylings, and all kinds of silly, goofy shit you would not expect it to catch. It, it reminds me of the old days of the Angry Walker. Which was my favorite time on Yama, honestly. Two more days, Tommy? Jesus, dude. How many days will you end up, end up being, being? That's like over 10 days or something now, isn't it? Have you tried any of the other rats at all here, Jenkins, or no? Just commit to what's working. You've had power 20 hours this year. Yeah, I forgot to warn you about the durability thing. Though I didn't realize you were about to go drop two grand on rats. I also thought maybe the big ones were better. Because I th threw the small one a bunch and it got tiny, tiny shit. The medium was catching, eh. I really believe you're just outcasting me is the problem. Are you making it almost to shore over there? He's saying 20 hours of power in this year. Nah, Juju likes his spinners. He won't rat. I tried to convince him last night. He's no fun. It's like landing in the middle. So you're not casting as far as me? Because that I'm sure that shit plays just a massive factor with how this thing floats. Like, that's the cool part, I think, about fishing these rivers is um, the way things move, like, 
literally a three meter cast changing your angle drastically affects where your bait runs through. I mean, it's hard to tell what middle is, but I feel like I'm getting way over there. Let's try like a 94%. Because to me, that feels just over middle. Oh, that sucks, Tommy. I hope you at least got it on the discount. The only answer is Jenkins is just that much better than me. Did you just slowly mosey down the river until you found this spot? Dinky tiny baby fish. Baby fish. Baby fish. We're going to change our angle a little, just out of curiosity. Yeah, I was throwing right at the end of the island when I had you come down here. That's where I'd been fishing. And I had started fishing here yesterday with ultralight, and spinner was doing really well. Till the fucking Chinooks kept stealing my spinners and burning up my ultralight. Cause this is like the worst I've had with the rat, <laughs> which is crazy. Best for you, worst for me. That sounds right. Uh, I mean, yes and no. You can't really exactly duplicate another player's fishing. Like we, like I joked about it, his leader's one kilogram smaller than mine. He's got a different rod and reel, so he's throwing slightly further than me. Like you cannot truly go one for one on conditions with fishing. So um, hard to prove, or deny that things are identical for every player. This is not Fishing Planet, no. Just kind of died, eh, Jenkins? 
You must have told all those guys your coordinates. Fool. I never tell them. I just ignore all their messages because I'm a jerk. I only tell you guys. Or the devs just saw that dude just made 800 silver. Let's tweak that real quick. Evening, Noel. How's Yama treating us? Great. The fishing guild is uh, trendsetters now. We're rat trendsetters. Jenkins. Wait, did you already get beat, Jenkins? Oh, no, you're just bottom of the list. More importantly, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mine's with a spoon. Oh, gross. You're using a hypnotic? Wait, oh, I have a fish on. Oh, you got the red and black trophy, too? Are all the trophies red and black? I love that I finally catch a decent coho and it's while I'm looking at the menus with my fucking rat just floating down the river. Fish have been waking up at this these last couple hours of daylight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? Asian smelt? Oh, fuck off, Jenkins. This is fucking tiny again. Well, at least it's a decent fish. Yay! It's weird. I'm getting them. Are you getting them way up here? That's like two decent fish in a row that are like next to shore. Facing between the rocks. You must be throwing very different than me, huh? Dude, my computer is like dead.
boxes. I can't even get my Discord to load. Uh, right, dude, the rats, they're heavy. Are you in general or fishing? Oh, you are throwing more to the end, huh? When you said right bush, you meant right bush. does totally change the float pattern though i was already halfway out in the river by there in my cast still just a garbage chum salmon but I think these things weigh like 40 grams though, Tommy. Which is why I threw it in the first place. I was like, ooh, a heavy top water that I can actually cast somewhere. Yeah, it's like a 10 centimeter rat. And I don't think that's counting its tail. I don't know what you mean by between there and the rocks, though. Unless you're just bringing it in. Oh, so you, you get it like in this section the most? This tiny little section? That's not much of a section. Or are you just retrieving it way faster than I am? And not ending up... Okay. Oh, mine come from way over there. And they're little tiny fucking garbage fish. Little tiny dumb stupid idiot garbage fish. Oh no, nighttime. The worst.
Okay, Brop's got it down too now. It's just a me problem. It is that I sniff of the butt. <laughs> I haven't fucking... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking explode. That's why I usually fish in garbage places that no one wants to participate in. Anytime it's got any weight to it, it's a chum. Kill me now. Oh, wait, no, it's a coho. Bjark. I think I'm going to switch off the damn rat for the night this tonight because last uh, the last couple nights have just been awful. Though my ultralight is pretty smoked. I don't think night is ever good here. Incoming Jenkins and Brop landing the donkeys. ain't doing any better could have just stuck to rat at least he's cute oh 
wait, I wasn't going to throw that back out. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see. Do I have any? Oh, I'm a liar. Did you go to the 18 kiloliter tube prop? It can't matter that much, dude. They even catch graylings. You're on like a 22, yeah. Down to the west at the logs, or right near the tip of the island to the west, I... Or no, it is the east, sorry. This is where I was catching the dollies on it yesterday. And a lot more sharp snouted and... A lot more sharp snouted, that's pretty much it. I just need to stay committed to my friend the rat, even if it's betrayed me for Jenkins. Hey Rev, how you doing tonight? Squirrel did okay. Chipmunk has not. They've gotten a couple, but nothing exciting. The the black rat medium has just truly shined brightest. I thought Chipmunk was going to be a powerhouse, but unfortunately, it just doesn't seem to do it. Now your sleep schedule's messed up? Nice. That's uh, my life in a nutshell. Now my sleep schedule's messed up. Why can't I see my real hand very good? Is it just because I changed real? Oh, God, the bear's coming. Unfortunate, unfortunately, I have to have a sleep schedule. That whole having a kid thing is required. She wants to go to breakfast in the morning before school. We got to do what she says. I haven't fished Tunguska hardly at all. <coughs> I just never got into it. Octuba was just always better. The YOLO cast, because nothing's working for me. Still on rodents? Yeah, set, we're, well, everyone else is setting records on rodents. We're trend setting over here.
Fishing guild. It sucks at night. You didn't have a fish, did you? No. I might go check orders, see what's up. I'm getting so close to being able to afford my big float rod. So excited. Then I just need two more of them. So however long this took me, twice more, no big deal. I should have been on earlier, but I just, I said this at the start of the stream, but I just have this problem where I don't want to stream this game because I know everyone else wants me to stream other things. So then I just sit here playing this game because I want to play it. I just know I shouldn't stream it. And then I just sit here playing it, not streaming. And I might as well stream it for the people that do care. Need a big dolly. I need these to change over, actually. Those are forever. Two double stream. Two games, you mean? Uh, I don't think so, Pistol. I don't really know, though. Um, but you can't ground bait. Or, well, I could ground bait my little bottom rods, but they're just out there for garbage fish. Because uh, I can't cast and retrieve and do what I want to do right now and play another game. That's not an option. And I feel like that's almost more offensive to do that to the people that... Am I lost? No, I'm here. Mini, thank you for the 33 months. Pow, thing for the nine months. You've had some gear issues today. I think I need to give a gear tutorial. I've seen you breaking some shit today. You ready for bed? Nice. You talking to me, Jenkins? Oh, go away night. Sorry, I didn't read that. I just read the go away and assumed it was me. Because honestly, things got worse for you once I got here. I blame you, though. You gave the coordinates away. Classic rookie mistake. Are you sure you're not by these rocks? And this whole time you've been bamboozling me?
It's so fucking garbage at night. It's insane, dude. I found other places that are at least mildly productive at night. This is just dead. Body. Getting old sucks. Don't do it, chat. Well, I mean, that sounds kind of morbid now that I think about it. Yeah, that was more what I meant. Just be forever young. Live forever young. Not too young, though. 25, so you can rent a car and shit. It's a good age to stop aging. Actually, when's the big one for uh, car insurance break? Is that 25, too, or is that 30? Forever young. That's what he gets for not using rat. It's almost time. It's almost time rat's going to come back to life. It's crazy to me that none of us have caught a Chinook. I thought that would be the one fish that would like really love this thing. Instead, it's fucking small fish. Big appetites. One accident, how could you? I've had two accidents, but neither of them were reported. I would crashed my car on the first day of driving. I had my license like 40 minutes. I take no responsibility for the accident, though, because I was driving in the right lane, and I went to turn left into, like, a parking lot. There was no oncoming traffic. I turned left and hit somebody right in the side and was like, what the fuck were they doing there? And realized I'd never driven on a one-way road before. They didn't teach that in driver's training. So... <laughs> I was in the wrong lane to turn left. Sun's up. Fish are out. Get them while they're hot. Oh yeah, did you not have a license lacquer? Because you didn't need one?
Come on, garbage fish. Get a two kilo one now, Jenkins. Wrong species, but you did it. Sorry about that. Cough in your ear. That's too small. I guess the... Oh, my speed went back down. Need a snack, I'm hungry. Yeah, you about gotta have it down there, Lacker. Can't wait to have a completely worn out rat in my inventory. There's the real sun. Now it's getting serious. It came up over the mountain. I can see our rat better. That fucker was a lot further away than I thought it was when I started reeling it in.
I'm about to give up. This is like the worst spot I've had. It's because it's, it's crazy though, because it's so good for you too. Oh, oh. Classic small chum at the end of the cast. Oh, 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 that's a good one. It's just crazy. All mine come from way over the left. Are you turning with yours, Jenkins? Because a couple places I was trying turning with it because it changes its flight or its float again. That one's too small, I think. Oh, it might make it. Ah, oh, just under. Are they? You killed our spot. It was your spot. You killed your own spot. You gave out all the coordinates. Or you just caught too many good fish. But you did get the record, so I'm not even mad. Oh, don't be a chum. Not a is a chum. Not a chum? It's hard to tell. The sun, the reflections, not a chum. It's really annoying to have to go all the way to the left to get the fish, but Oh, there we go. Just had a bitch about it. Is that a gray one? No. Oh, no. A broke rod. I do need to do another gear tutorial. You're just going to let it soak? I want, I've want i like wanted to be patient enough to just let the fucker float down the river. Because honestly, they only hit it when it's floating. Like, almost exclusively. And I did catch one while menuing. So, maybe it would work. It was the bamboo rod? Oh, okay. That shit always terrifies me, dude. Like, if I, if you broke like a your newest upgraded rod or something, man, that could just crush your spirit to ever play again. Oops, that's not the spot. Too late now.
Cars are terrifying, dude. They're so fucking expensive. Always afraid things. And, like, I know the decent amount about cars and still hate it. Always worried something's gonna fuck up. Damn, even those rainbows. Another mouse weekly. Okay, I'm coming, Bell. Leave that rat there, just in case. That's pretty sweet, Minnie. My gas station let me do that today with energy drinks. Because <laughs> I forgot my wallet. Small town life. Yeah, as someone who worked on bikes and cars, uh, Unfortunately, trying to keep up with your own maintenance is impossible a lot of the times. Too many specialized tools needed. Being able to actually get up under your vehicle, pain in the fucking ass. Drop shot pretty good. It's considered like the worst rig, but I've had okay success with it on ultralight. I just started moving down, Jenkins. I'm with you. You killed it.
I blame the guy who gave his coordinates to all the Chinese players. You know they're better than us. I got another spot with Chum I might go check. Or not Chum, Coho's. But it was kind of the same way for me. I caught like four good ones and then it died. Venus map? I thought about going back there tonight. But, uh, mouse. I should go troll three mice there. What are you? Sharp snouted? A oh, little rainbow. Mice. Yeah, we're fishing with mice. We're trying to make mice the new meta. And we figure if we fish with it hard enough, put it on enough leaderboards, we can make everyone waste their money. Yark. Downriver. Is this not a chum? Downriver. Popping a little. Couple of good species. It is trend setting, yeah. That's what happens when you get excited about a spot. It's just so painful when you do a full cast and get nothing. Like, it genuinely hurts my hand. <laughs> Actual pain. Yeah, we should give the mice little uh, spear guns. Except that they're uh, rubber and not alive. But maybe we should just use live mice with spear guns instead. They gotta see a whole bunch of fish swim under them. Hello, Slash. Little mice knights, little fucking chainmail armor and swords. Spears. Obviously, spears are the superior weapon.
I don't know any of these books. Because books are for nerds. They couldn't have been that good books about rats, or there would have been a movie. Like Runaway Ralph. My brother loved the Runaway Ralph books. There is a movie? Oh. Must have been fucking garbage. Bad. Or I'd have heard of it. Certainly. This was my spot earlier that was doing well for me. I do have my finger on that pulse, son. I took my daughter today to hang out with her teenage cousins, and holy shit, they talk exactly like the internet, and it's so painful. Like all the things I see you folks type, they say out loud. Kek W, yeah. They started out like totally normal, then they started talking about one of the cousins they don't like and called her a thought, and it was just all downhill from there. They really just opened up their internet vocabulary. What's this fish? Just a chum? Of course. But da 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 Sorry, I gotta check something really quick. Trying to Uh, but the good news is Alice said she doesn't want to become a bitchy teenager, so we have that to look forward to. Yeah, one of them said Capricorn. That's what I told her. Good luck, kid. We all think we're not going to. I remember the same thing. My brother was four years older than me and thinking, why is he such an asshole? And tell my mom I wasn't going to be like that. As far as I've always known, Yamas stay around 20 kiloliters. And you don't have Pike to worry about. Just Chinooks. I were all cringe kids. Oh my god, dude! The kids say cringe so much, and I hate it. Not just because they're talking about me.
No, nah, I mean, I don't even think it's just that on Weaver. I think t- teenagers think it's cool to just be super. I mean, like angsty teenager is very much popular right, for all the kids I know, and I know too many. Damn school. And like, it's just, it's not. Why'd you send me mouse? I can't. Oh, I do have remake. I can send back. Yeah, that's the right one. Any others I need to try? Um, I think I, I... I didn't try any of the other mediums, but medium seems to be king. I think partly just because you can throw it further. I think if you were going to try anything else, it would be medium. Maybe medium uh, black and gray did pretty good for me in small, but caught a lot of small fish. Uh, and maybe medium brown. White didn't do shit for me. Chipmunk didn't do shit for me. If I was going to go buy more squirrels or rats it would be medium brown and medium black and gray Okay, so I was catching chum over here earlier. Don't send them to me. I feel guilty. Thank you. I'll take them. Fuck it. I won't feel guilty. Yeah, this spot was pretty good for me earlier with Coho's Jenkins. Since you're the Coho Whisperer. Any others I'm missing? Stop. I'm not. No, I have them all now. And you get bullied for not being on the internet? We've, I've had this discussion many times. Um, I strongly believe the worst thing schools have done is eliminate uh, fighting. And if my daughter gets expelled for fucking sticking up for herself and punching some bitch in the face, I won't be mad at her. I'll just homeschool her. Because kids have no way to defend themselves in school if they can't. Like, bullying wasn't a problem for me because it's not like nobody ever made fun of me. No one ever picked on me. I just punched them in the face and then they didn't do it again. Because, like, it turns out kids don't like to fight. Even if they, even if they like, win the fight, they still don't want to do it again. It sucks. Rage, thank you for the raid. Yeah, I mean, there should still obviously be punishment for kids who go too far and kids who cross the line and stuff like that. But I think kids that are fucking raging with hormones um, aren't good at handling their fucking emotions, like shouldn't have a zero tolerance policy for getting into a fucking fight. 
though most schools I know don't actually follow through with the zero tolerance part. That fucker was just stuck on a ledge there. Squirrel game. Dude, rat. We're taking over the leaderboards on Yama with rat. Jenkins has a, a good global weekly on the on a coho record. I don't know if this is actually a big fish or if it's getting stuck. The current's so strong down here, too. Yeah, dude, rat gaming. That's a decent sized fish, I think. Not huge. I have small gear on here. Tell me it's not just a chum. It's not. It's an arctic. Weird. That's my first arctic on a rat. Dude, rat is my new wacky worm. I even caught a fucking burbot on it earlier. I think they turned Coho's off, though, after Jenkins got that trophy. I feel so lucky, though, that I just, like, I've heard from so many of my Twitch streamers, you know, not surprising the nerdy folk on the internet, heard just horrible fucking disgusting bullying stories, dude. And it's like, Jesus Christ, how did that ever happen? Like, really bad. come to see this yep rat gameplay influencers gotta influence you yeah yeah lad. I mean that's I mean that's I'm sorry to hear that dude I mean, I don't know you that well, but you seem like a, f a cool enough dude. I mean, even people like Cobalt that I, I I would have never guessed, and I don't think Cobalt would care that I said it, but, like, Cobalt went through high school with his fucking a hood on and his head down on his desk, didn't interact with a single fucking person in his school. He had, like, three friends that would hang out after school kind of deal, you know, but, like, that's nuts to me because he's so high-energy, funny guy. get in here more like there's three of us out here setting these rat records the cool part with the rat right now is it's catching all the species that have been tough to get the rainbows uh the sharp snouteds the white spotteds pink salmon pink salmon aren't that bad to get it's, it, it reminds me of the fucking uh days of the angry walker this spot is no longer cohos huh it's just chums The fish are okay, though. I'm not going to run away yet. You have to work. Ah, oh, that's fair. I remember in school, I made fun of a kid once for uh, blowing up his car. He fucking blew up his own engine because he was an idiot. Um, and his parents made him drive this beater. So I was making fun of him for it because I didn't like it. Um, and that day I had to fight him, his cousin, and his brother. You know? 
Like there was there was a uh, fucking retaliation for my actions. And I deserved it. I was being an asshole. I always slept in geometry. That was my favorite class to sleep in. Our geometry teacher was from fucking New Jersey. I couldn't understand half of what she said. I genuinely thought a mirror was a special device we used for geometry and not just a goddamn mirror. real right there. Oh, in middle school, I picked a class. Uh, I was having a really rough time with, like, home life shit, and the principal called me in because my grades were slipping. I had been a good student up until that point. And uh, it wasn't just home life. It was also like I was old enough to just be a fucking hooligan. Uh, my principal calls me in and he's like, well, you're getting awful low. To, you're going to be failing. It was like careers or some stupid ass, you know, elective class. And he's like, and while you can fail one, it was like two electives and one core class. He's like, you know, we don't want that to happen. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can't, I'm allowed to fail those and still pass. He's like, well, yeah. And then from that day forward, I picked classes at the beginning of every year and I did nothing. Not, not a God, not even sign my name to the top of the sheet. And I would tell the teacher ahead of time, I have chose to fail this class and I did nothing. I got like a 2% in science once. How many rats should you bring? I would uh, bring maybe two. It's taken me a while to burn up one. Let's, I don't know. You fish hard, so. Speed running. I mean, yeah, I was a kid, and you're telling me I don't have to do something. Why would I do it? I had never I never had the, the parent telling me I was going to go to Yale or Harvard or anything like that. And I was smart enough to understand I didn't need a fucking 4.0 GPA to go to a community college or even, like, Western Michigan. Yale or jail? Well, I went to one of those. Well, I'm glad you're over it, Led, because that shit, yeah. I mean, I could not have, I really could not imagine. Was it Yale? No. But thank you. I appreciate the lie on my behalf. I do downsize hooks on my rats. I'm using like one outs. I felt like when I was using the smaller hooks, I was getting, or the bigger hooks, I was getting a lot of those short strikes, you know, where they fucking yank your rod like they're on and then nothing. So I am running like one outs. I'm just wandering now and fishing to see if I can find something else interesting. It never works out. Plus now it's nighttime. Nighttime here just blows. Fifty percent on your rat, dude. You have caught so many fish. I've done sixty-two percent, and I fished this fucker for like three hours last night. 
That's crazy how many fish you've caught today. It's it's a it's actually a mouse, but we call it a rat. Uh, this one, this has been okay for me, but it's mostly chums. And this is the same thing. I just was fishing this one. It's mostly chums. I wasn't getting any variety. Though I'm gonna go back to that one. I think for the night. Is this a real thing? Fake rats? Fake mice? Yeah, fake mice are super common. Super common. They're just a piece of fucking rubber on the surface, so the fish can't see its eyes. It can't tell what it is. They don't have, like, the deep... I've never seen one with a big... No, I have seen them with tails. I have seen them dragging tails. But the fish doesn't know what it is. And you don't even... Most people don't even fish them like a mouse. Like, mice just swim. They don't fucking... If a mouse is in the river, he doesn't just stop and float, right? Like, he just swims. It's potential food. It's something they can fit in their mouth. Yeah, mice can swim. Absolutely. Squirrels, too. <clears throat> my neighbor threw firecrackers at some geese in his yard, and uh, I was on my dock fishing, and a fucking squirrel fell out of the tree and landed in the lake. Boy, they can swim pretty quick. Stupid nighttime out here is the worst. Drowning in your dog's water bowl? Dude, I just, I can't not tell this. Every time someone mentions the drowning mouse, I can't not tell this fucking art or study I read about they put a mouse in a bucket of water and let it swim. It lived like 30 minutes and died. They put a mouse in a bucket of water and at like 28 minutes, they took it out of the bucket put it back in the bucket the next day. The mouse swam for like three days. Once the mouse knew that it might be rescued, it was willing to fucking try. So a mice, mouse drowns super fast because it just says, well, fuck it, might as well die. But if it thinks there's a chance it can live then the fucking mouse will swim until it dies from exhaustion. Which is pretty fucking bonkers. No, it wasn't that it got real good at swimming in one 30-minute swim. It was that it decided... Cause the, and mice will swim, that's what's part of it too. Mice will swim much further than that if they can see land, if they can see a way out. Um, it's literally, they just give up and die because they they just accept that they can't they can't live and die the animal that blows me away at swimming is horses they like I get that they have I get that they float. But the part that always shocks me is how good they swim. Horses and meese. Both. It's like, dude, you got tiny, tiny feet. I don't understand how you swim so good. Yeah, right? They just they have bad limbs for swims. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but the like a hippo's got a foot, you know? I just threw that spoon across the river? Onto shore?
An elephant has a dick the size of a fucking boat oar. So yeah, I'm sure an elephant can swim. And it's fucking pre... Whatever they call that. Hensile or whatever. They can fucking move their dicks around like an arm. Just saying. They could paddle like crazy with that fucker. They got a little propeller going down there. Brrr. A whole new meaning to helicopter dick. I was fishing on a lake one day, got in this like really shallow backwater, and there was a beaver dam, and I'm like, what the fuck is on that beaver dam? And it was just a fucking golden retriever taking a little nap on top of a beaver dam. Just chilling. It was a goldie, yeah. Just having himself a little nap. Or maybe it was a yellow lab. It was a golden dog. But either way, it was just a big, dumb, sweet dog laying on a beaver dam. Later I went back to the same spot, and there was a goose nest on there. Really popular place to hang out for animals that aren't beaver. I'm throwing that bitch into the woods. I was laying siege. I was going to wait him out until I starve to death. Dude, I think a beaver would take a dog, honestly. Dog would still be stupid enough to pick that fight. But beavers are big boys. It didn't. It wasn't sleeping. It had no legs. It was trapped there. Uh, I don't know how vicious they are, but they're big. They're nowhere near as small as I thought. I just recently they've started really making a resurgence in Michigan, at least my area in Michigan. Um, and fuck, dude. I mean, they got to be sixty, seventy pounds. They're big fucking animals. They get pissed off every time I drive my boat near them and slap their tail on the water like crazy. Whap 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 whap. What is this? Why'd you send me 63 pound snake braid? I'm gonna use that to catch catfish. Wait, what size was that? 63 kilo? Oh no, it was 28 kilo. What size is that? Three, three, it's smaller. I wanna be able to eat this fucker. Uh. Smell garlic and need a sh I don't wanna ask questions about that. Okay, that's a good, that's a much better. I just thought you stunk. Honestly, I just thought you were really stinky, and your body odor had like a nice hint of garlic. Yeah, 
Yeah, but like it's not because you just like that's your natural lady musk. It's because you fucked with garlic. I smell a bit like cat pee right now, and it's because I went to my cousin's and there was a lot of cat pee. But that's not my fault. I take zero responsibility for this. I don't know how people live with cats. You changed their litter? I don't think... <laughs> yeah, but, like, it doesn't... I just... I have dogs, and I just don't have to... Though, dogs smell, too. So dogs stink up your house in a different way. Just by existing as an animal, they they make your house smell like dog. As well. So I can't really say too much. But my dogs don't piss and shit in the house. And I like that about them. I don't gotta fucking clean a litter box. It is the problem. It's it's a horrible problem. And the poor animal. I think that the... I would genuinely say the majority of pet owners are bad. Maybe they're being polite. I have a lot of people that ask me that question. Does it smell like cat in here? And I'm always honest with them because I feel like they truly want the fucking answer. And you do go nose blind to sense. I mean, I grew up around fucking cigarette smokers. Didn't realize I reeked like cigarettes till like three hours into school. And I was like, oh, this sucks. I mean, they're still getting a better life than some of their alternative options, Chrome, but yeah. Uh, it amazes me how many people continue to want pets when, like, they can't clean a litter box. I did, Panero. It's okay. I don't love it. Don't want it in your room? I mean, I feel like it's a fair place to have it. <laughs> I almost took their dog today because he was a really sweet boy. But I don't want to have to train him. He chewed. I was like genuinely considering taking their dog, and while we were having a conversation, he chewed the fucking straps off the one of the girl's backpacks. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I will not go through that headache. The dog's eating the cat litter. Yeah, yeah. I think like any home, you can tell if someone has almost always tell if someone has pets. Not always. I I know one lady in particular. She has three fucking cats, and it's insane. I cannot believe I can't smell it. Um, but she also like her house is very perfumey too. Normally, you can even smell it through the perf perf perfumey bullshit. It's like, ah, your house smells like cat with a side of Febreze. But she does really good with her litter boxes. How good are those fucking litter robots? I know everyone was talking them up like three years ago. It seems like a smart way to go. You have four of them. Isn't that like fucking $1,500 worth of cat boxes or something crazy, Grim Fan? Not like I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm just saying like that's. I 
that's pretty tight amount of technology and value in cat boxes. Hey, co-hosts are here still. We have three? Yeah. You bought them on a bill. Okay. That's, that's, there's my point. But I respect it. You know what? That's commitment to your pet. Yeah, they used to have those. I remember those more like that. You just they're like a sort of like a washing machine. You just like rotate a tub inside a tub. At least I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, six cats. It's a lot of cats, but you. I feel like if it weren't for the fact that cats piss and shit in the house you could have like 20 of them and still like not even see one <laughs> depending on the cats some cats are just fucking i mean most cats are just chill as fuck if you had four dogs in a house you couldn't do anything without three dogs following you around and one dog fucking barking at the other three but you can have my mom has four cats and literally every time i go to her house i never see a cat they don't like me Fair. I don't like them. Okay, yeah, I was following along, Grim Fan, until that last part where you said release. Like, no, I I mean, like I said, I support your decision. I just was more curious about. That's my father in Animal Shadow. He doesn't give a fuck about animals. He he literally, and I, that's, I swear that's why, but every house we walk into, everywhere we go where there's a pet, he doesn't even acknowledge its existence, doesn't even make eye contact, look down at it, nothing, doesn't ask a question if it's friendly, just walks right by it like it doesn't exist. And those fucking animals just love him. So you genu they genuinely get released. What the fuck? Wild. This thing randomly going to bite scratch me? Yeah, we let in a... It's not really a stray, but my neighbors don't fucking do anything with it. So I, it, in my mind, it's a fucking stray. They just leave it out all the time. Um, And I let it in one day. I was like, fuck it, dude. This cat's always over here anyway. I'm going to let it in. Alice really wanted it. a cat. And it was in my house for like eight hours. Super sweet, lovey, dovey, hanging out, exploring the house, being a good cat. Uh, and then it just started fucking meowing at us and biting us and we let it out and it never came back. <laughs> never came back inside. What it does do is come back and bite me. It shows up. I literally, I'll be driving down my fucking, we have this little private drive here to the lake and I'll be driving down the private drive and that cat will see my fucking car coming and go run and sit and wait for me on my porch. It's a torturer now. The free trial ended. Birds are bad, too. I don't want pets, honestly. I just don't want any of them. Is it still doing that? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it in a few weeks, but that's normal. It, it like... I'll have like two weeks of it's out every day. And then I think what it is, is it's actually the daughter's cat. So when she's home at her parents' house, the cat is inside with her and gets taken care of. When she leaves, they fucking boot that cat outside.
Jesus, I read African Guy, and I thought I was going to have to ban you after all these years, Van Rall. That come from the south side, crazy? I'm about to go back to Jenkins' spot and see if it warmed back up. I bet it did. Oh, you have birds and said they're the worst pets. Yeah, there's a lot of sharp snouted down there. They just well, I wasn't getting any good size ones, but a lot of them down there. Yeah, I know it's the type of parrot. I just read it wrong. The only other place I could think is all the way on the other end, but I don't feel like running over there. Cobalt had a parrot or something like that. Some kind of bird that talked. Noisy fucker. My neighbors, when I lived at a different house, had a fucking parrot. And the fucking husband and wife would fucking scream and yell and fight so much and swear like sailors at each other. And then you'd hear the bird fucking mimicking them. It was funny, but also very annoying. And then when they would get annoyed with the bird, they'd put it outside on their deck. So it would just sit outside squawking its fucking head off. I wanted to call the cops repeatedly on my neighbors for noise ordinance with their fucking bird leaving it outside. I don't understand how people do that kind of shit, man. Like, dogs or birds that they just fucking leave them outside and let them make hella noise. I don't know how it doesn't drive you nuts. I mean, obviously the bird one, it doesn't happen very often. Dude, when my mom left my dad, uh, our cat, the only cat I've ever liked, uh, uh, he just stopped eating and died. He wouldn't eat anymore. It was fucking wild. He was a good cat, though. Every time I'd cry, he'd come lay with me. A donkey? Oh, dude, donkeys are loud. Cute, though. I like a good donk. If I had uh, money, I'd get Alice a horse and a donkey. Or, like, two horses and a donkey. Yeah, dude, like when I go fishing, people just fucking let their dogs out in the yards and just bark at us for hours. And it's like, how do you sit inside hearing that? I know you can hear it. Goats are fucking loud, too. Uh, my bestie has three goats. And those motherfuckers get to he and then, or whatever they, whatever goat noise is. 
what is, what is it? Is it, there's a word for goat noise. They goat noise like crazy. Bleat or some shit. Real fucking loud and just endlessly. They breed them, and one of the moms lost a baby, and I swear to God, she just bleated for like five days straight. It was the saddest thing ever. Not ever, but it was sad. Why are all? Why does it? Everything have to be sad, Richard. Just tell a happy story. Really line noise, that is terrifying. I would hate that. Oh, I wonder if that was it, Minnie. I thought they were sad about the baby goat, but you're probably right. It was probably a milk thing, wasn't it? Sore ass teats. She milked that fucker uh, a few times, actually. Makes sense. I remember my wife at the time was also similar. Bleeding all day long. Bleat. Not bleed. Oh, you think it's separation? Oh, okay. They want their babies back. Yeah, roosters just cockadoodle when they please. Yeah, I have a friend from high school who lives in the Philippines, and he constantly posts videos of what it sounds like in the city he lives in. And it's just fucking every animal under the sun, people, car horns, all at once is very off-putting. This spot did not pick back up. One fish and done. I might have to fucking... Oh, I switched rats, didn't I? Or did I never switch it? Did I just set it up and not switch it? I switched rats and totally forgot. I'm so colorblind I couldn't tell that I was using the brown rat instead of the black rat. Could be a difference maker. Tune in next time to find out. Roll ad. Damn it. Didn't run. Got to put the bins out. I have like no front yard, so I never put my bin in, and it's, it's lovely. I got a ticket at my last house for leaving my bins out. I, I'm joining you on calling them bins. It's not what we call them here. Your trash can. Your Herbie Kirby. Yeah. Why is that rat so far behind me? Yeah, it's for a different road though, Juju. That, it's funny. Uh, there's two private drives right here and the garbage truck will come down ours to pick up our cans. 
but the other one, they all have to roll them all the way down to the end of their private drive and out on the main road. Yeah, I had a neighbor that would always bitch at me about not taking in my trash can. And I assume it was him who would call the police and report it. Because there's village ordinance that you can't leave them by the road. That guy was an asshole, though. He threatened to poison my dog. Because when he would let his dog out... Or we had adjoining fences. So when he would let his dog out, they would bark at each other. Like that, yeah. If you let your dog out when my dog is out. Shoot him? I don't have that neighbor anymore. I moved. I've moved twice. Well, the first time wasn't neighbors. That was a job. But I've moved gladly moved twice because I hated my neighbors it's the one part of home buying that you just like is really hard to know until you're there for a while you know I have I only have neighbors now in the summer because I live on a lake so nobody lives here in the winter but like three of us and they're quiet old people That's funny, Juju. You don't know your neighbors? My neighbors across the... I, the only neighbors I have that are here close by are right across the street. And they bring me fucking cookies and shit on Christmas and candy for Alice on Halloween and Valentine's Day. And they're very sweet. I live on a lake. Which lake? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I live in Michigan. We have, like, more lakes than any state. Um, and there, a lot of them are very small. So if I told you what lake I live on, it's very small. And there's only, like, fucking 25 homes on it. It ain't very big. Public, public, like almost all of our very few private lakes. Pretty sure that title belongs to your state. What are you, Minnesota? The land of 10,000 lakes? Guess what? We have more lakes than that. I think Wisconsin might actually hold the title. We just didn't feel that we have other cool things to advertise besides just 10,000 lakes. But yeah, it's weird because uh, there's only like it's it's like Michigan, Wisconsin and Minnesota that are like just tons and tons of these small freshwater glacier dug water table lakes spring-fed water table lakes. Uh, and I don't think a lot of people realize that. Once you go south, you know, if I told you I lived on fucking Kentucky Lake, you'd never find me because the lake is 50 miles long or something absurd, right? Like, pure Michigan, what the hell does that mean? Uh, you know, like pure cocaine, except Michigan.
the three best fishing. Uh, I think we have good fishing, but. We have small fish. <laughs> Except the pike, muskie, and walleye. But even that, Canada beats us there. Which country do you think has the most islands? Do land, uh, inland islands count? Or do they have to? Because I like that's a hard one. I would I would guess that it would be America if I was just going off the definition of an island, right? Like I'm standing on an island in this game, that's an island, that's an island, that's an island, that's an island, that's an island. Or you mean like, is there some measurement of island? Yes, they count. Hmm, interesting. Russia. Something just big. I, I just feel like something big with a lot of rivers. <laughs> Yeah, I would say the South too, Juju. If I was gonna like name my favorite fishing, Texas probably. And I haven't even fished it really, but Texas probably. It's actually Sweden. With, I mean, I I I knew that because. Uh, or that it was that region because of Kake, but, or he wouldn't have brought this up. Derpy, thank you for the eighty-eight months. I just don't know that I believe it. Well, that's the thing, because if you're counting, like I said, if you're counting, I don't think they're counting every single island. I don't believe it. I'm not going to I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, I was putting Sweden and Switzerland together. I'll admit it. I was making a mistake. I don't believe it, Led. I think this is a false stat. It's like the possum, the world's largest possum we were trying to look up the other night. We got like 17 answers. I don't believe it. I don't think you have the landmass to possibly have it. Not when islands like this occur so much in rivers and stuff. I'm not, I'm not buying it. Yeah, you don't believe it either? Oh, cool. Glad we're in, on the same page. I think there's probably something that like classifies them as islands. Or that you guys just took the time to fucking count them. I have not heard of that lake, no. God, my computer is running so slow. No, you're not two Texases. You're not even one Texas. Is counting Canada above the U.S. an island count? I believe that. Is there an accurate island count globally? 
I would believe Canada because they have so many of those broken bays and again so many rivers there isn't interesting then maybe it is true maybe it is factual takes up 14 but that's the I mean we're talking about 260,000 <laughs> You're short a couple. Yeah, I'm guessing that's that's what I'm not taking into consideration, Led. How tiny are they, too? You probably have just, like, this insane plethora of tiny little rocks off your entire coastline. A decent fish. But uh, yeah. And that, that's that's what I was thinking about like when I was said the US. I was just thinking about how many fucking islands I've seen this year fishing alone. I mean it's gotta be thousands just in my little area of the woods. Yeah, I've been trying to get uh, chat to take me fishing in Wisconsin, Minnesota, but I haven't gotten to do it yet. We did a trip south with chat. It's my 10 year next year, so I want to definitely want to try to do another road trip. When I go on fishing, I, whatever, I, I'm, I literally just love fishing for everything, man. I, I, I can't focus. I do bass tournaments all summer, um, but I love catfishing. I've gone fish saltwater, pike, musky, ice is coming soon, so I'll go after pan fishing walleye. Uh, salmon, we have salmon here, so I go after salmon in salmon season sometimes. I just like to fish. Truly loves to fish. Australia's on my list of countries I don't think I'm allowed to go to, Minnie. I can't go to Canada. Yeah, I got that felony thing. Then the world combined, I believe that. It's cuz like just thinking about how many lakes Michigan has, it just gets more and more as you go north. Just the chum. Yeah. It's not even going to be very big. It's just my gear is downside. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Eat a thing of melted cheese. I don't know what the fuck that guy's even saying, chat, but can we say something else so I don't gotta keep looking over and seeing it? That'd be tight. Inland oceans, that's pretty cool. How long ago? Uh, 16 years now.
Yeah, it was about six times as big as most fish I've caught tonight. Oh, really, Silent? Yeah, the problem is it's really hard to look that shit up. I also have a very unique case with my charge because it's, yeah, stupid America and its individual state laws. It's, yeah, I've had, like, a ton of trouble with it. And I don't have the money to, like, hire a fucking lawyer and just find out where we're at with it, because I think I could just get it completely removed now at this point. Yeah, I want to go to Canada. Tons of great fishing and hunting there. What did I do? Sold drugs when I was a teenager? This is, like, not something I'm, you know... I'm not proud of it, but I'm also not going to pretend it didn't happen. It's silly. Possession of cocaine under 27 grams, I believe, was the technical charge. I got really scared, too, because I have a friend who uh, got a gig with Nintendo. And he went to, tried to go to Japan... And got denied entering Japan. So he flew all the way there and got denied entering Japan over a fucking MIP for marijuana. Japan is very strict. Yeah. So, yeah, like, he works in the games industry, working with Nintendo, and can never visit Japan. Fucking sad, dude. And that's also part of the problem, too, is, like, you have, like, Interpol and stuff like that that tracks these records. So even when you get them, like, mine is sealed currently, which is different than expunged. Uh, but I don't have to admit I have it. I don't Like, I don't have to put it on job applications. I can still own guns. I can still vote. I can still do everything in America. Uh mostly that the average guy can do but I went to, when I was a teenager after this I decided I was going to enroll in police academy um, and the college accepted me for the classes but the police academy itself saw my record and said no and uh, I was like wait a minute I thought I was told it's sealed and I don't got to worry about it and they're like well it's sealed to the public but it's not sealed when it comes to actual federal government My only charge, the only fucking conviction I have on my entire record as well. I have no other card charges, no fucking, not even like uh, any, yeah, nothing. Later, Puma. It's, it is annoying. It isn't, it isn't, Jake, right? Like, I've had this discussion a lot because I do think there is this stigma that exists over specifically felons. People automatically assume the worst. Like, I guarantee you, like, almost every single person in this chat has been felony adjacent. Like, and you might not have even realized it. Um, 
it's not that it's not that crazy, especially girl, you know, as teenagers when we were all doing stupid shit. Um family and friends and all that shit. But anyway, um but at the same time, there in my opinion, there are things that like shouldn't be forgiven or maybe should be forgiven if it was a case by case. But like it's so I you know, I get the system to a degree. Um, but yeah, like they tell you growing up, you know, do the crime, do the time or whatever. That's bullshit. The time is like forever. My mom's 65 years old and she still can't get promoted at jobs because she has a felony. She's 65 years old. She had a felony when she was 26, I think. Um, and it still haunts her life to this fucking day. And she's tried multiple times to get it expunged, but because of the situation, they won't do anything about it. Um, She got caught in a sting operation selling drugs to a cop. And they have made it, they will not work with her on the case. Yeah, that's the, and it, like, so that's the bitch with, I think, all laws and all rules and all that bullshit, right? Like, there's, everyone's got a line in their head. Um, and, I don't know. It's t- it's tough. I do think felony forgiveness, which Michigan passed, is coming up here sooner than later, um, and is going to allow after I think ten years, felons. It, knowing the way laws work, it'll take forever. But Michigan did just pass a thing for felony forgiveness. Um, for certain felonies. Like my dad. My dad. Uh, my whole family has felonies. It's not surprising I ended up with one. Um, my dad got felony drunk driving. He had two drunk drivings in a row, and then nine years, 200 and some days later, he got a third felony, and three three drunk drivings in 10 years is a felony. And it has now been 18 years since his last drunk driving, and he still doesn't have a license. Which is a whole nother topic I could rant on and on about, but taking away drunk drivers' licenses instead of taking away their right to drink is asinine to me. Minors don't have the right to drink. Why don't we just say the same thing about people who get drunk drivings? Yeah, but you can say the same thing about kids, Bumble. You can say the same thing about children. Nothing is stopping a kid from getting alcohol from a friend, from a family member, stealing it, driving a car, doing anything that's illegal. Like that, I don't. That argument, I like I said, I've had this conversation a million times. I knew that was the coming, but uh, you know what drunk drivers do without licenses? They drive, and then they get stuck in the system forever. But taking away someone's right to drive in in America, the majority of America, like 90% of, like, by landmass America, is taking away their, like, ability to make a fucking living. And you know why a lot of people drink and drug? Because they're miserable. I'm just saying, forgiveness is a weird one that we don't have it for so many things. Not true forgiveness for so many things. That your records and these things haunt you long after you're done with your jail time. I was out of jail in 30 days. Spent. I was done with probation in two years. Pot is legal now, yeah. But they didn't let everyone go that was arrested for marijuana yet. They didn't d- delete everyone's record. And even if they did, I don't believe... Because I've heard that even with expungement. Like, they can no longer... 
look at you as a felon, but it doesn't mean that record doesn't still exist because it those records get passed. Like I said, there's things like Interpol and stuff like that. They don't just, it's not, you know, Japan knew my buddy had an MIP. Even if America deleted that record, I don't believe it's just gone from existence. Yeah, I know, silent. That's what I was saying. We we passed that, but when will it take effect is a whole nother question, silent. I might have that thing expunged by the time I'm my mom's age. Yeah, my mom's is a really sad one, too, because she got that charge when she was very young. Um, then later in her life, she wanted to get into the medical field. And because she had a drug charge in the medical field, it just stopped stopped her ability to go like anywhere because hers was at the time a controlled narcotic which was methamphetamine just phetamine amphetamines or whatever they were called um back before meth was cooked in a trailer and was given out as a prescription Yeah, anyone can smoke. Well, you have to be a certain age to smoke weed, I think, 21. I'm not actually sure. I don't care enough to look it up. But, yeah, people smoke weed everywhere. I think you're not supposed to smoke it in public or something. I don't know the rules. I don't look them up. But, yeah, it just smells like weed everywhere you go in Michigan now. Uh, I mean, I still don't want to go to prison, Sean. That's the thing. The scariest thing in my entire life was hearing a judge tell me I was looking at a three to seven felony. Because I didn't know at the time that three to seven felony meant 30 days in jail and two months for, or two years probation. I literally just broke down in tears in the fucking courtroom. Nice fish, crazy. For less than a tenth of a gram of cocaine... Though, I mean, I deserved the charge. They weren't wrong. <laughs> a bet. The sad part is, so if I would have had a, if I would have had a better understanding of the law, surprise, surprise, if I would have understood the legal system better and knew what I agreed to, um. I would have fought it instead, and I could have probably gotten it dropped to a misdemeanor, and we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. But at the time, I hired a lawyer, and the lawyer said, listen, there's this program Michigan does called HIDA. If you're under the age of 21 and still live with your parents, you can, you can go through the probation system without fucking up. They'll seal your felony and in my mind i thought that and the way he described it to me was so then you can still do everything that you could do if you weren't a felon he said it's the easiest way we can plea it down right now we'll be out of here we don't got to do a whole case be done today and i was like sweet deal because i didn't do drugs never have i don't drink i have no i had no problem with probation they stopped drug testing me like fucking two months in because the parole officer just he said i was the only person to ever get out of jail or go into jail and not drop dirty that he'd ever had on parole. Because um, I don't do drugs. I, I never have. Um, 
so yeah, had I known that when he told when the lawyer told me it's like not having a felony at all meant yeah, except you still have a felony, I would have fought it and got it down to a misdemeanor for sure because it wasn't enough cocaine to like really be a felony situation. Um but I didn't know. I was uneducated, didn't know. I just sold him, yeah. I like money. I'm a I'm a fucking I'm an American capitalist pig, dude. Money's tight. How did I get caught? Uh, got pulled over. I had a scale in my pocket. Was all they got, and they took residue from underneath the instruction sheet on the back of the lid and put it in a bag and gave me possession of cocaine. Originally, they tried to charge me with intent to distribute, but uh, luckily there wasn't enough evidence for that charge to even stick. The prosecutor let me go. So I, I got arrested, spent one night in jail. The prosecutor let me go because there wasn't enough evidence to charge me with intent to distribute. Again, young, naive, didn't know, kept selling drugs, thought, ha-ha, idiots, I got away with it. Uh, and then like eight months later... The alarm was going off in my family's business, and everyone was out of town, so I got a call to go check on the business. I go to check on my family's business with a bunch of my friends in the middle of the night, and the cop says, well, while we've got you here, it was like a raccoon or something set off the alarm. We don't know. We never need to know it set off the alarm. But the cops were like, well, while we got you here, why don't we run you kids' IDs? And we're like, what? Are you serious? So he ran my ID. I had a warrant for my arrest for possession. So I didn't even know that I was going to go to jail. It was awful, dude. I just had a girlfriend come back from California. It was a... <laughs> we had been fooling around all day. We were getting ready. It was the worst. When I got out of jail, she had moved back to California. Then I called her and was like, I'm out. Come back. She's like, okay, I think I can find a ride. And I was like, all right, sweet deal. So she shows up. We're together like two months. She's pregnant. Not me, the dude who gave her a ride from California. Best part of that story, they're still together today. They have another kid, and they're still together today. Not all my stories end sad. See? 